Ora bem, vindos a uma série nova no canal Alone in the Dark para a Playstation 5 Isto é um remake do jogo de 1992 salvo erro Ora vamos lá começar então É, é assim. Alone in the Dark. Olha, estou a jogar um modo de performance. O que está errado com ele? Ele está possessado. Como em o Devil? Algo assim. Ele diz que um homem dark está seguindo ele, vendo-o em todos os tempos. O que você faz com ele? É nonsense, claro. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Que eu escolho. Vou com ela. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? It's a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. Hey, but first, 
estar ahí. Então, se assim, casa das pessoas, pá, nem pede licença nem nada. Devias ter insistido, pá. Batias mais um bocadinho à porta, pá. Não tem lanterna, não tem nada. Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into the settle. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. Não há mapa ainda. Ah, posso fazer save quando quiser. Pelo visto, acho que sim. dark in here. I can't see anything. Tem que haver aqui uma lanterna qualquer. qualquer. Isso não estava aqui. What's this? Kitchen garden key. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. The corvs. Okay. 
Me olvide. Primeiro o que é que há aqui em cima. This must be older than Dorsetto. They've built the house around it. Epa. É assim. Quer dizer, toda a gente que vem para aqui <coughs> fica maluca. Fica passado os miolos ou o que é que é? Isto. Construíram uma casa à volta de um jardim qualquer, acho eu. Será que construíram em cima de alguma coisa amaldiçoada? Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Cri... Uh, assim, se quiserem ler, meto o ouvido na pausa. E vão ler, senão não ando no jogo. Olha, aqui está tudo. Pelos vistos, está tudo. Abre a porta e por uma coisinha assim mete a mão lá dentro para tirar as munições. É, nem puxar ca a caixa para fora nem, nem nada.
Bem, eu tenho que abrir a porta ao carne B. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Hmm. That doesn't look safe. Ou seja, preciso qualquer coisa para passar por aí porque agora eu consigo. É isso mesmo. Volta para trás. I need the key. Okay. This my chef Parley. Think we're in the cool of a weapon yet. Está fechada. What's this? Mm -hmm. Thank you, map. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that...
Como é que eu abro esta caixa? Não sei. Olha, vou lá ver acima agora. Espera aí. Vem por aqui. Sim, já vi aqui, acho eu. Eu não estava mal. Vim ali debaixo e não dá para abrir. I need the key. I need the key. Olha, é daqui. Carimbo. I need the key. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around... Isso, uma chave. Vamos agora aqui. Ora, não dá. Bem, mas uma igual, uma mala igual lá, estava na casa de banho, acho eu. Wait, don't! Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. É esta pessoa. McCarthy, what are you Epa, doing? Repente, I told you not Epa, to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Você está tudo vazio de repente. What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. 
The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Tercetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Ou seja, vamos tocar em tudo. Do you want to see Jamie's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Não saiam daqui e não me achou em nada. A primeira coisa que fazem é sair daqui. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Jeremy had gone missing. The housekeeper said the staff at Der Seto was looking for him. But Emily wanted answers and demanded to speak to Dr. Gray, the man in charge. While waiting, a young girl offered to show Emily and Detective Comby inside Jeremy's room. The perfect opportunity to look for clues regarding Jeremy's disappearance. Out of my gosh, Shada. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. Hey, what a cash is my shave. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Terraweya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Uhum. Já estou a ver para que é que é. Vamos lá. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. 
O que é que ela está a ver de estranho? Found this tube as well. Should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily. I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Doctor Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... Mais um desapareceu. O que é que será que se está aqui a passar? Uma casa abandonada. Abandonada, entre aspas. Estava sem ninguém, de repente aparecem duas pessoas assim do nada. Um tio que desapareceu. Uma miúda, uma criança neste caso, estranha. E o nosso companheiro, assim, num momento para o outro, desaparece. O que é que vai sair daqui? Ora, mas isso é o que vamos descobrir no próximo episódio. Este episódio vai ficar por aqui. Ora, deixem ficar o Lovos Like, subscrevam caso não tenham feito ainda, ficaria bastante agradecido. E até ao próximo episódio de Alone in the Dark.